Okay, good evening, Blood Bowlers. Right, we're just waiting for the, uh, the game to start, but uh, tonight we've got the BBBL Fumble Season 3 Semi Final. So, obviously, the current situation means that uh, we're online play has become quite popular in the league. So, uh, this is the, the uh, coming towards the end of our third season, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, tonight we've got the, uh, the Salty Marsh Suckers, a Lisbon team. Uh, came top uh, top of the seed, uh, top on the rankings. So seed did one against the blood soaked furies, the chaos chosen team. Who came in uh, fourth for the season. So uh, in the table. So so it should be a good game. Hopefully, if anybody's watching, if you just let me know, you can hear me. If I'm too loud, too quiet, something similar. I had some various technical issues. I'm streaming this with my laptop, so hopefully it'll all work okay. Um, various Wi-Fi issues this evening. So uh, see ya. Hey Paul, how you doing? Can you hear me alright? Maybe, maybe. Right, I can see both the, uh, the coaches are logged in on Fumble, which is always a good start. Hopefully they will be able to start very shortly. Sound is fine. Okay, cool. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Yeah, yeah. A bit, bit stressful this evening. My my internet seems to keep dropping out every sort of ten minutes or so on my PC for some reason, but uh, but it seems to work okay on the laptop and on the phone. So switch quick switch to the laptop to make sure it works. Um, but, uh, otherwise, that's uh, yeah, not too bad a situation. How about you? How's things? How's Josh after uh, after earlier? I've I've only managed to watch the first half of the game, but. Uh, yeah, two one, two one loss to uh, to Tom in the uh, in the plate semi. It's a bit of a bit of a shame. Snotlings did did themselves proud by uh, by getting that far. Oh really? Oh nice, cool. I saw he had Morg. I saw Morg got surfed in the first half. That's about as far as I got. <laughs> it's like pretty cool. <laughs> Morg was a good choice though. It's a fun a fun choice. Oh, he wasted the Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. It looked, uh, it looked fun. It looked, uh, I, I saw various things go on uh, that looked quite fun. Lots of uh, throwing of bombs and, uh, and, and random things going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the main thing, definitely. Having fun. Right. Oh, am I missing the game? I am. It looks like they've just about started up. So let's see how we go. Let's see if we can get into this. As I said, fingers crossed, everything works, and the internet holds up for the evening. Cool. Oh, Jake is. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. As I said, the, the last time we played, he's definitely, definitely showing huge strides of improvement. Um, so, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. Which is very cool. Right. So, let's have a look at these teams then. On the right thing. There we go. So okay, so it looks like the Elizaman uh, are kicking the suckers. I'm not sure, I'm gonna keep saying that properly all the way through. So what have we got? A Crocs with block. Ooh, ooh nice. A Saurus, rookie Saurus, break tackle Saurus on the line. Got a guard block Saurus, tackle block Saurus, another block Saurus, and a block Saurus. So two block Sauruses on the edges. Block tackle, block guard, and we've got a skink. Ooh, movement nine skink. Boo. A sidestep skink, and a rookie skink. All right, so there's not too much development on the Lisbon team here. There's a little bit. Nice block on the four out of the six Saurus, which is pretty cool. Saurus or Saurus Eye. There we go. Oh, no, really? Oh, well, it's cool you've got the vaccine. That's awesome. Um, no, I can't. As a viewer, you can't put the skills on. Um, oh, do you want me to change it to the... Um, I don't know what you guys think about the icons or not. I don't tend to do it. Um, I tend to use the uh, the abstract way, but we'll go with this. And it looks looks a bit, a bit more interesting. Um, but no, as a viewer, you can't, unfortunately. And I think that's definitely something that hopefully they'll be able to do in future fumbles. Um, Maybe with the 2020 change, they might be able to do that because I know they're having to update the version of Java that you need to use, I think. Um, 
So maybe Krista's going to be able to do that. Yeah, you can't when you're viewing it, unfortunately, which is a real shame. Um, for the icons. All right, well, we'll go back to the icons. This is the way I tend to view it anyway myself, but, you know, I know everyone's different. Ooh, right, okay, so there's some quick run through uh, the Chaos team. So we've got Mino, Tentacles and Guard. Nice. Blood, guard Block Warrior. Block Warrior. I don't know, two Guard Block Warriors there. Another Block Warrior. Block Beastman. That's a loan of beastmen. Movement five beastmen. An armor seven beastmen. And a sure hands beastmen. So again, there's a lots of bro block primarily as the skills. Not any tackle on the team. So that might be a bit of a problem for them against the, uh, the skinks. Yeah, I think the uh, the icon not being able to mark the players and mark the skills. Um, it's a real letdown in terms of streaming fumble and stuff. I think the therefore, you know, Blood Bowl two. Well, hopefully then Blood Bowl three. Oh, we got a KO. Nice, Isosaurus out potentially could Apo it. Both teams have an Apo, and what was the kickoff result? I'm not sure actually. Does use the Apo. Power Apo there. That's what all the pros do, unless that's, that's what they tell me. Um, keep uh, keep the 11 players on the pitch. <laughs> Full send tonight. <laughs> bold, bold indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, quite a lot of coaches say about that, though. Um, Putting the Apo. Uh, keeping the players on the pitch. I think in league play usually it's a bit more questionable, isn't it? But uh, oh, hello! Oh no! The miner went out on a both down. Crocs had the block skill, and he's gone. Patches him back up to a badly hurt. Wow. Well, okay. Well, the apple's gone. That was a good smack in the face. Um, the miners are still still with us. Just. Might have the odd Crox's tooth embedded in his neck or something somewhere. But uh, yeah, still with us. That was a pretty... Uh... Yeah, both have us gone turn one. Yeah. It, good for the person who may be in the final. Yay. Hopefully more death. It's going to be bloody. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Indeed, a lot of strength uh, and a lot of block as well. So, right as I said, um, the suckers this season have done very well. Came top of the season as I said. Um, they've not actually conceded a touchdown um, at all, which is uh, very impressive. Um, so we'll have to see if uh, if this game, uh, well, if going out, it's going to have to change. Or potentially, you could go to uh, to penalties. But uh, so we shall see this uh, very stout defence and see how it holds up. Now on the flip side of that, the uh, the chaos team, um, not quite such a good record, but uh, but again came in fourth. Which is pretty good. A couple of wins, lots of draws, uh, five draws and uh, and two losses, uh, but that was enough to get them into fourth place. It was uh, quite close uh, towards the end, but uh, but a draw in the last game I think saw them in and sneak the fourth place, knocking out the Snotling team, as I recall, um, from the uh, from the playoffs. Our playoff spots. Oh, there's the first bonehead of the game. Yep, there's a mullet. Now, obviously, for the crocs, the prehensile tail is usually the, the big strength, but as soon as you get block on them, um, that does make them a bit more viable as a, as a hitting option. Um, I think most coaches tend to just use them to, to go and sit on a couple of players and just keep them stuck next to it. Um, 
when you get block it does make it harder for them to get them off, off the player so dodging away though for the warriors and forwards is not really something you want to do either so but anyway losing by uh, you know going bonehead is not great so every minor dies to their own place yeah <laughs> I have to say, I think I've said it um, to everyone I think before, but Minotaurs are like the worst big guy. I hate them beyond belief. Um, having used them a few times, and I've seen them used extremely well um, and against me on several occasions. Um, but uh, but yeah, I just think they're the worst big guy um, ever. Um, I think the last time I used one was in the uh, not last tabletop league, I think, in the uh, and I did actually manage to uh, in the very last game get a plus strength on the Minotaur um, but that also at the same time was the last time I was going to use that uh, team so there we go but I was not sad to see the back of the Minotaur to be honest right we got a nice wall here of Sauruses, Saurus I Sauri something a nice bit of pushing going on around here Lots of space to the uh, to the to the bottom of the screen here, to the left flank of the uh, chaos team. If he wants it, trouble is you can't really being players down. Now you can't really really try and base up those sauruses to to get them stuck that's usually what you like to do because they're very immovable normally unless they've got break tackle only one of these does and he's one without block here's the chap down here um so it's quite easy for them to adjust lizard are obviously very flexible and well fast i should say so movement six which is pretty cool for sauruses and then the skinks are just ridiculous because they just go everywhere Needs GFI and makes it to finish off the screen. Right, well, there's a. Depends how bold he wants to be, but there's quite an opportunity to try and base the ball here quite easily. Get the Crocs to move some players out of the way, move this guy out of the way. You've got Coposauruses to come crashing through and sit in here. It really cause some problems. Depends how bold you want to be. This guy doesn't have block. And you've got to use the crocs. Which would be a one die at this moment. Potential break tackle blitz. Yeah, you could do. Yeah. Well, that'd be twos, threes, fours. That's right, isn't it? I'm so now getting more and more into 2020 rules, so I'm forgetting how all this works. But, uh, but yeah. yeah. Right, he gets that. So that does make quite a lane now for some of these Sauruses to come crashing through. Doesn't even need to use this guy to blitz, does he? I, only against myself, Paul. <laughs> which is which is not uh, not quite the same. Um, it is interesting though in terms of how the mechanics work, um, like the passing um, and the kickoff table results and I tried a load of random skill ups just to, for fun, and nothing else really, to see how that sort of worked but, but yeah it's, it's obviously playing against, uh, against yourself, I'll say that carefully, against myself, um, is uh, yeah practice exactly. Yeah, but it's not, it's not the same as obviously playing against a, a, another opponent. More about just working through the mechanics. But I, I like it. I, I thought it was enjoyable. Some of the games, it made very little difference, the, the new rules, hardly at all. Um, some of the other ones, it did. Like the odd occasion of jumping became a bit more relevant and things like that. And some of them are skills. Although I think a lot more information about how the, new, how the skills now work and obviously the multiple team re-rolls that sort of stuff's come out since i've played any practice games i played a couple with humans and orcs and skaven uh underworld uh i think underworld would be quite a fun team yeah the mighty below plus two yeah no i should uh, i should 
it just tree root? Oh, it's not tree root. Tree bed. No, it's not tree bed, is it? Deep root. That's the one. Um, is it just deep root or... And morg. It is morg as well. Yeah. So, yeah, so no, I do have morg, so I should uh, I should try and try out a couple of star players. I'm not sure about the star player extra rules um, either, if people will use that. Um, so, you know, their extra special one-time game or not very often rule. I'm not quite sure what everyone will do with that. I find that's quite an interesting one. Let's see what the consensus is on that. I think for me it's more just because I will forget it if it's a one time game because I forget wizards at the best of times. So there we go. Right, well there we go. So Morglax oh, being served. <laughs> That's it. Although they did notice on the casualty roll, uh the injury roll on that, it was double ones. So I don't think the crowd wanted to mess with him. Um and they said quite happily you can go and wander back on into the reserves box if you wouldn't if you would like, Mr Mr. Morg, after you. So uh, so I thought that was quite fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gross reroll. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I think some of them are some of them are pretty good actually. Right. Well, how are you getting out of this one then? Yeah, again, you've got you know quite a bit of space to the to the top there. If he wants to, his right flank, a dodge. Can you move all these guys away? Not easily. So I think you're almost just left with a dodger, aren't you? Nice power to skink, unfortunately no damage. Yes. Oh, okay. Interesting. I think I probably wouldn't have tried to base the crocs again, but Happy to to get himself stuck in and involved. He's obviously players down at this point. Yep, so the expected dodge makes it jolly good. Oh, goes for handoff. Needs a reroll to get it, but the guy catches it. And away he goes. All right, okay, yeah. So there's only yeah, there's no break tackle. Is there the only break tackle guy? Soros is down here. There is a. Yeah, he needs to cover this off because there's a Crocs hit to free up a Saurus to go and hit. Yeah, yeah. that's where I needed to go. Obviously, there's even the, the chance of the uh, Skink Blitz. Yeah, commit the Skinks, yeah. yeah. That's not bad though, he needs to. And these guys are all cut off at the moment. And these Sauruses down here. That guy can break tackle away. So we can move all these guys away. Um, does he just decide to try and pound further um, on the Chaos team? Or... Certainly clear the way for all these sources to get through here. That's not difficult. He's got a two die there with block to, to clear him out. Release the skinks. <laughs> Have guard? No, he doesn't, does he? No. That's a Crocs hit. Freeze up this Saurus. No armor break. That's the only mighty blow on the pitch at the minute, the Crocs, so. Yeah. Oh, so both down, both down. Does this chap have block? He does not. So he just accepts it. I think you're fine there. Yep. Does a couple of GFIs to go and base the wall carrier. So 
and basing up here to force some more dodges. What have we got here? One, two, three, four, five. So you can do it to free the. You got. Yeah. Yeah, just to stop the uh, the dodge and run through the middle, covering off. Gets the warrior. So he's now stuck. Except for dodges, of course. So he's got the two diamond well, yeah. Oh, tried to dodge and uh, get next to the ball carrier. Oh, the sidestepper. I thought was good. Would have been a good piece to to get stuck in there, especially without any tackle on the chaos team. But unfortunately, it failed to dodge. So, what was it? A one into a two. So the stunty doesn't always work. All right, but still quite a few problems here for the chaos team. They can. Uh, that play being there as well does make it a bit more problematic. Yeah. You can certainly get a one die easy enough to push off with a blitz, or do you just try and dodge again? These guys are stuck next to the crocs, so dodging away. Yeah, it's got quite a few difficulties here. There's not a lot, not much better than a one die anyway, really. Because even in there, with horns, with an assist, but also a counter assist. Yeah, tricky one. These guys are stuck. You've got this free player here. Two, three, four, five, six. Could do another handoff, but then where'd you go? You could retreat. But then again, you're just you're very stuck now. And they always talk about Lisbon being a control team. Um, I've never found them particularly easy to use, uh, to be honest. But uh, my sources tend to get stuck a bit. Um, but I think in deep, in uh, on the defensive side of things, you're probably not so worried about that. Oh, it's a GFI. Two dice uphill. Um, fails the first one, but gets the uh, second one on the reroll. Or was that just a one die? Ah, it was this play here, wasn't it? I was just thinking it was the ball carrier, but wow, okay, there you go. That's one way to to clear a problem. <laughs> Two dice uphill from this uh, this beastman here. It didn't have block. Yeah, he surf. Yeah, indeed. He was okay though. Source with block. Sa Sashi muttered sure. Interesting name. Do the chair. Can I do the chair? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh wait, have I actually got the game sounds on? Have I not got them on? No, I haven't got them on, have I? There we go. I don't know if you heard that or not. There we go. Right, well, okay. Well, it's certainly blitzable. Do you want to blitz it though? I'm not sure if you do. Next, any breaks happening here? No. It's on. Oh, okay, nice. Cool. 
Right, well, that was a, certainly a bold move. Too nice uphill. And then to get the surf with the uh, the ball carrier. Uh, I, I didn't see that one coming, I'll be honest. Um, hey, it works, it works. It's three plus. Need two, three pluses um, for the to get the push at least. So I suppose we're just stuck with no other options. Bowl play, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just because it ended up in a surf pool. That's all. That's the only reason you like it. <laughs> I think there's a little bit of a Jake play there, to be honest. He, he likes a good uphill dicing. Um, definitely. Right, so take some of his uh, two die blocks. Trying to get the assist on that one, but that's not going to happen now. Cause it's just a push. <laughs> Bit of beach boys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the croc's getting stunned as well. That's uh, pretty unhelpful. Uh, that's Elizaman. So after being quite a promising position, uh, a little bit. I'll be stuck here. Oh, I guess a double skull as well. So that's another reroll gone. Mind you saying that, um, all the rerolls have gone anyway for the Chaos team, so they're fully committed to this drive. Oh, it gets a power with a skink. Oh, and we got a KO. Wow, this game is swinging one way or the other. So the uh, Chaos team only have 11 players, so they're down to 9 on the pitch. Uh, there's no inducements in this game. Um, I think both teams are about the same, I think. Some dodging skinks. Assist for the block, it's only a push. Yeah, but that's not too bad. Slides step skink there. Just going to try and make himself painful. And that's break tackle. Making yourself useful. Yeah, see, Paul, I haven't. Um, I think when I first started playing, I hadn't realised that was the rule. Um, so I started uh, doing some of the 2020 games literally just as soon as the. Actually, before the game was released, um, when we had those sort of previews, shall we say, of the rules. Um, so my reading of the rules was not how it's actually now been confirmed of the uh, two. Uh, multiple, excuse me, uh, team rerolls a turn, so uh, I wasn't playing it like that. Um, so no, I need to have another uh, little play um, and see how that works for me. I mean, you, have you played some? You played some games, haven't you, against uh, the boys? Is that right with the new rules? Not properly. Yeah, yeah. I think some of the stuff I've sort of read online in that, I think there's quite a few nuances to the new rules that aren't as I would either expect or uh, much like the team reroll stuff or I would read the rules as saying. So, so I think there's going to be, when we all manage to get back to tabletop again, I think there's going to be quite a bit of, um, oh, it doesn't work like that, or oh, I thought it worked like that, um, even more than we had before, which we used to have that quite a bit anyway. Um, I don't really mind that, um, you know. I'm, I'm sort of looking forward to it, and I don't think the multiple team rerolls a turn is that much of an issue, because um, it's not like everything has got cheaper. Other than I suppose star players have got cheaper on the whole, but teams have got more expensive um, players. Things uh, power push, power push on the sidestepping skink, so it's still there causing a problem. Go for it. It's a two die, gets a power push. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's one that wasn't necessary, to be honest. Um, I don't quite see the, 
the rationale behind it. Um, but, but yeah, there we go. Whether it was a, a, a mistake um, or an omission, an accidental omission from the rules that they've decided to just sort of go with, I'd be surprised if, if that was the case, although I know they have done that in the past, uh, Games Workshop. Um, but, uh, I think they've... I, I, I think they've gone with that as more of a... Well, it will allow more random stuff to happen because we're removing the randomness somewhere else, um, like the kickoff table and... Um, maybe even the passing I suppose um, because the passing is a bit more risky maybe that tries to balance it out a little bit in terms of something can go a lot worse for you in passing um, maybe they've tried to make it a little bit better by okay well you can have some some more goes uh, some more re-rolls in a turn um, but yeah I don't, I don't think it need to be made changed really but yeah I think for a lot of the games though I think it's I think it's more the temptation to use it when you really probably shouldn't and you wouldn't do normally, uh, maybe. I probably forget, to be honest, that I can do it again. So <laughs> I suppose the one thing is it does, there always used to be that element, have I used my team reroll this turn? And it was always that conversation of yes or no. Yeah, yeah, no, I see that. Is it, yeah, it's in the... Uh, players using all of their re-rolls in in one turn absolutely yeah which i think is a bit is going to be a bit of a shame because if especially for newer players um inexperienced burn all their re-rolls and then later on that half then everything then becomes very very difficult and extremely risky um whereas if they had the odd re-roll here and there it would mitigate the risk and and you know make the game a bit more their game a bit more successful and, and more likely to, to to do better so so yeah, maybe having that temptation there is probably a bad idea, game design wise. Yeah, it's true. But yeah, so I think some of the other stuff I've <laughs> burned the mighty N three. Well, I mean, let's face it, we've been watching uh, Hypnotoja and he burnt all his uh, rerolls uh, very quickly. So uh, I think he did get a bit stuck. So I could justify why some of it is being used. Um, yeah right well this is going to be an interesting turn um and it's going to be uh, nothing i think you can see here hypnotodes uh realizing the sort of the jig is up a little bit and, and sort of retreating back here in case he gets turned over to try and defend yeah yeah definitely yeah i don't think to be fair this this move back here isn't, isn't a bad one really um because he's trying to maintain some players free that if what happens is uh what he expects is he uh, turns the ball over here um, and the skinks end up with it. He didn't just want them to have free reign to run all the way down the side of the pitch and, and completely outposition him. So having someone deep here to cover just in case is, is probably a just accept your fate really, and and then just try and play for the nil nil at half time. Depending on how this goes, obviously, it's interesting. It's gone against the. Where's the ball going? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that works. <laughs> Yep, so that's free for a, a skink to go and pick it up. <laughs> Crowd's getting excited there, and you've got a movement nine chap ready to go and pounce on it. Unacknowledged fortune. Good name, good name. Movement nine, only got 10 SPP on the season. So I don't know quite what's going on there. What's he done this season? He's got three touchdowns and a completion. Okay, yeah, the... Uh, the scoring's been pretty easy on the uh, Lisbon team. Three touchdowns for one of the Sauruses. Pretty awesome. Um, uh, he's just hide the base for the, the move nine. I suppose when you're lots of moving eight. Oh, bonehead. That's, uh, that's a bit of a shame. But not insurmountable. Oh, you've got another free skink up here, haven't you? That's a sidestepper. He's got it. I 
Alright, you can stand that Saurus up. Or even break tackle away, I suppose, actually. It's the break tackle dude. Okay, so that blocks them out. Yeah, still a few dodge blitz, blitz options here as it stands. You stand him up. Dodge into here, maybe. Yeah. That's it. So try and prevent the uh, blitz through here. I mean, you've got the could get the push and then the dodge blitz here, but after that, Croc's going bonehead has really hurt his position here because obviously he'd be a lot solider here. And again, you've still got this warrior that can dodge away. So three plus for two die. So again, you probably want to dodge this guy. in here oh no and he is mng yikes yeah definitely trying to cover off this warrior from just dodging and uh and then just blitzing the ball carrier which at this point we're probably going to see that anyway You could do a few different ways, I suppose. Fucking <laughs> Yeah, Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's a real shame. Hey, it's just a rookie skink, but still. Gives a chance to, to Toad here. Does he get the knockdown? He does not. Only you're both down the skull, and he's got no rerolls. So, he's now going to have to make the dodge... Blitz. Freedom having no rerolls is, uh, you don't have to worry about it. Just go for it. Oh, he doesn't make the dodge. Oh, right, well, that's... That's riding on the ball, really, isn't it, I think? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that was, that was a bit of a shame. And he's got a skink. Yeah. And one, two, three, four, five, duh, duh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, would have been a more interesting game. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so I think the uh, skink can pretty much make himself. With a couple of hits in here, of course. Uh, hit in here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Block on block. Move him out the way, give you an extra square as well. Yeah. To advance the ball forward, you then got the skink you can cover off. Yeah. So. Leg it. Who's this chap? Slot block Kaz. Interesting. The guarder is the guarder, yeah, so you don't worry about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, duh, duh. Only can base then. Two, three, four, five, six, duh, duh. Can't base, so yeah. Oh, he boneheads again. Don't know, what's that, four times now? I haven't got my bonehead counter up and running yet, but uh, be a four boneheads so far. That'd be a fun thing to do on a stream. Just have a bonehead, really stupid. Wild animal counter on the screen for no reason other than just me knowing. Yeah, it's a difficult one now. Right, well, okay, I suppose at this point it's uh, Toad's uh, options here are really to, if he can get near a skink, to try and kill it. Um, there are only three skinks left on the Lizman team. Um, is that right? 
Yeah, only three skinks left on the Lizardman team, so without them it is difficult to uh, to score. So, I mean, two is enough, obviously, uh, when the, the Lizardman receive in the second half. But even so, if you can take at least one out, restricting him down to two does limit his flexibility quite a bit, if you can. And obviously remove anything else you can really at this point. Again, numbers is oh, there's a skull there. He re rolls it into a push. Skinks there. Two, three, four, five, six. I would probably blitz that skink as my priority. Can you try and surf? No, not quite anything. It's a stun. I just maximize the other blocks you've got. Thing. He's just going to move down there. Just decided to try and pressure. Which I suppose he does only have the. Uh, he can do. I think I probably would have blitzed the skink there to be honest and just try and kill him. But. Yeah, okay. Just trying to base up here, so forcing him to to do something here, leave the player exposed. Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. Oh, there we go. Okay, oh no, they're both down. Ah, oh. <laughs> there I was thinking he's got, he made some progress. Well, he's taken the skink out, um, but uh, unfortunately he took his own beastman out as well. So it'd be quite important to see what happens with these beastmen if they come back or not. Yeah, no, I, did, I, I didn't see that either. I would have come from the, the, from the top, but yeah, fair enough. Again, yeah, agree definitely taking the skink or trying to take the skinks out is is what you can try and hope for and to be fair as well there he's, he's doing well to pressure the ball so again now uh the lizman team does have a reroll, roll um, which obviously does help them um and they do have a break tackle piece up here but yeah. do you want to risk it i don't know you're just going for the score and Except around the hits. Oh, just around a blocking. Hmm. Do you break tackle, try and blitz without block? Or does he just score? He just scores. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He does give the extra KO chance. Well, he got one. Uh, they got one KO back there out of the two, and Lizardman uh, got none. Right, so one KO, one turn has ten players. One, two, three, four, five. So six, seven, eight, nine. Is that right? It's only 11 and 11 on this game. It is 11 versus 11 in this game. Wow, yeah. Both trying, uh, going very TV light uh, this season. Yeah, so every casualty at the minute really will hurt. So, yeah, as you can see there, both teams have a K, uh, KO player to come back as well. So let's see if the chaos can cause some casualties. be very nice if they could I think I'll be honest taking out the break tackle one is for me the priority on this because um, he doesn't have any other break tackle and that means all of his sauruses would be stuck and even the crocs um, and you just end up with two skinks having to do all the, the hard work um, but I mean that's the only player with the skill other than the crocs I probably wouldn't worry about the crocs myself too much 
think. When I found the break, ooh, perfect defense. Yeah, great. Well, he's just gonna move him around now. <sighs> You're a player down. Yeah, typical. Um, well, a player down. Well, they're both a player down, aren't they now? I mean, you might do, because you're outnumbering them. Yeah, I probably would, actually. Yeah, I probably would. Because you've got a player advantage. But anyway, we'll have to see how this comes out. I mean, yeah, you've still got the block here. What's that, six? There's the ball back there. Yep, so two die, it's just a push. Not great. That's okay. You can support in there. Two die on the crocs. <laughs> okay. Well that's not a great round of blocking. Oh no! Oh that is a terrible round of blocking. Uh, yeah, lol indeed. Let's just do a little uh, wow in there. What was that? Okay, skull pushback, skull both down, and then a double skull. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty tough. Um, yeah, I think yeah. You're really expecting at least a well. I don't know. They're armor nine, aren't they? Um, and you've only got one mighty blow hit. But you kind of hoping for it. Maybe a knockout if you get a bit of luck. And as you said, with the with the foul as well. Um, it doesn't look like he was really setting up for a foul anyway here after the. Uh, Perfect defense, which is a shame. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens with the KO, um, the KOs. I mean, if 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 Toad gets his KO back and uh, and Elizabeth don't, uh, Water Actor doesn't get his. Uh... Yeah, it's looking strong at the minute. But let's see, uh, they both stay unconscious. Okay, right, so we've got a 9 versus 10. Lizardman get 9 players, 2 of which are skinks. Um, perfect defense in 2020 will stop that, yeah, yeah. So what is it, D3 plus 3, is that right? Or is that the uh, is that the blitz? I think it's the same, isn't it, for blitz and... Uh, um, perfect defense, isn't it? It's only that amount of players you can move around. Right. Well, I think... I think you, you have a chance. You, you Also, open players only. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think here, really, I think your goal is because he's only got two... Okay, yes, you can score with the, the Sauruses and Crocs, it's sure. Um, the Crocs, but... Uh, you're a man up. Mark out those sauruses and go and try and get near the skinks. Although obviously, Rob is just going to hide the skinks as much as he possibly can and, and shield them. Um, and you don't have any tackle. Again, this is not great, but uh, yeah. But uh, no, this season I think we've not had very many um, sort of skill, agile teams doing well in the in the league. So I think tackle's not been taken that much. Um, mainly the bashy teams so what we've had lizardman okay yeah there's some dodge in there but then chaos orcs and then uh corn in uh, making it through to the playoffs so uh the uh the, the dodgy teams as it were were uh, uh didn't sort of feature in the top top teams so um yeah so tackle has not been as such a prominent skill as it can be in other leagues lots of elves and uh, you tend to find tackle taking a lot more A blitz here would uh, would make it more interesting. But blitz blitz is always make it more interesting. Or a perfect defense would also be nice. Yeah, yeah. Or tried to say in there, big guys aren't covering themselves in glory tonight. No, not really. Minotaur managing to uh, get himself uh, injured, and only the Apo managed to stitch him back together. Oh. 
Yeah, Hiroto mentioned about getting an extra reroll swap out the Minotaur for a uh, Chaos Warrior at the start. I think he went for three Warriors and a Minotaur, I think. Um, so who got the... Uh... Oh, they both got rerolls. Okay, so four and three. Yeah, okay, that'll make it... Uh... Well, again, yeah, that's nice and strong for, for the Lizard, and again, favours them. Um, pick up. Need a reroll for the pickup, so that makes it a little bit more certain. Yeah, that's a good stun. I ho totally agree, Head and Toad. My tours are very unreliable. Oh, there's a KO. Wow. Well, that's the kind of blocking that uh, the Chaos needed. So we're back on parity again. Uh, nine versus nine. Uh, it's just a push for the crocs. Yeah, he's got a nice wall of strength fall there. A nice, nice wall of strength fall there. Yep, gets the pickup. That's the side stepper. S slot block Kaz. Right, there you go. Hit through that hit through that wall of strength four and five. Yeah, you do have some guard. You can make your own wall if you want, or you can try and crash through the Minotaur. Do you try and crash through the Minotaur? Oh, no, that's a shame. I was just going to say, do you try and crash through... I was almost thinking about, do you try and crash through the Minotaur up here? That would have been fun. But... But I think at this point, I think you've got to try and start utilising the Minotaur. Try and get something to break for you. <laughs> okay. Toe choosing to... Uh, looks like an uh, Elven column back here. So I'll sit back on it. Um, leave the Minotaur a little bit exposed. You can. Oh no, it's going to support him a bit more. Okay, well, I don't think Lizmo are going to go anywhere very quickly, so I'll just try and consolidate their position. So, what have we got in here? Have we got any guarders? Yeah, there's a guarder there. There's a guard there. That's not a guard. Probably not the uh, the odds on play, but I'd be tempted to, uh, to hit through on the on the monitor with the crocs. And see if he'd, uh, the monitor doesn't have block, and see if you can. I mean, you are sticking him in there, I suppose, but I mean, you're not dodging away, are you? Even he's got the monitor's got tentacles, that doesn't really matter that much. He's blitzing. Who's he blitzing? A one die? A one die? Really? I know you got block, but... Did he mean to do that? I wonder if he meant to stand this uh, Saurus up there. Oops. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. He, uh, he definitely didn't mean to do the one die blitz there. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely meant to stand that player up. It's very easy to do it in uh, in Fumble. I've certainly done it as well. You say blitz, you move the guy one square, and you're like, ah, wait, no. I haven't stood up that player. It's going to be interesting, the new rules, when you have to declare your blitz target as well. Um, that's something I've got to get used to. Right, well, that does... What have we got here, though? Four, five, six. 
<coughs> so, still got the two die. Under my know that is. Just going to try and sucker him in. Got guard in here. There's no guard there. There's guard. Yeah, I was going to say hit guard in there. Smash, smash. The power push. Yep. Yeah. So he attempted to go down here south um, to the bottom here and try and block him in. You can blitz down here and maybe if you're lucky get a get someone down through here. Yeah, he's gonna make friends with them. Yeah, the crops. Okay, yeah, he's gonna start basing the uh, sauruses. Yep, yeah, try and take away the move uh, maneuverability there. He's got the break tackle guy at the top, but blitz through with the uh, mino. Do we think he hasn't used blitz? Has he? I don't think he has. Oh no, he has. Oh yeah, he has. Yeah. I was going to say blitz through the mino there. I think I'd base the crocs here and then hit with the mino. See if you get a couple of good hits on. I definitely hit this guy. Oh, Skull makes the loner reroll and gets a power on the crocs but doesn't get the break. Wow. That minotaur. That's a couple of double skulls he's had, but he did make the loner reroll. Yeah, he sort of really needs to get the mine. The minotaur really is the only. Defense you've got against the skinks, isn't it really, with their tentacles? So, I mean, obviously, you use the blitz down here, so you couldn't do it, but I think I would have been tempted to try and crash the mino through. All or nothing kind of play, though. So, you are relying on a unreliable player at best. Right, well, that's definitely, though, something more for. Uh, for all tracker to think about. You can't just swan up here anymore because there's now a couple of uh, beastmen sat back there lurking. Yeah, you don't want Mino just trading blows of the crocs here. Yeah, Hidotoad's saying about his uh, double skulls or both downs, yeah, but he did make the loner reroll, so <laughs> at least that's something. He's just a bad Minotaur. He does listen, it seems, but he's just very bad. Yeah, see, again, now the Crocs is just going to get up and... Uh, ...and be sat on the Mino. What's his name? Shane Smash Skull. Smash Skull. <laughs> Thanks, I can't unsee that now. Let me just censor that. There we go. Let's just let's just take that out now. Oh is he? Oh oh yeah. Minor tour. Well, indeed. <laughs> yes, well, let's leave that alone. <laughs> oh, I can't unsee that now. Yeah. Oh no, Monitor is stunned. And I think, yeah, you can't go on there. Mm -hmm. You do have break tackle here. Two, three, four, 
don't do it. So you can do it with this chap. A couple of GFIs, three plus, two plus, two plus for a two die. Surprised you sort of left that really. One. Oh, is that one, two, three, four, five? Don't do it. Yeah. Couple of good hits. Okay. Oh, to both down. Okay, well, no, that works. That works. I mean, you can base now, but as much as I was going to do, yeah. Skunk's just going to try and dodge away. But yeah, I suppose you're getting more hits in here. Got a lot more of those men on the floor. They're going to have one, two, three players free. You're going to try and dodge on you yet, yeah, but that's fine. That makes sense. Is there any movement? That's the movement. Yeah, that's the movement five guy, but manages to go round. So yeah, okay. Well, that's a pretty good turn. Pretty good turn. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you have the blitz to clear it if you want it. get deep enough into their half extend these guys up you're just going to get <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's no temptation to use the minor tour so therefore everything uh, everything goes so much better because you don't think about him anymore yeah I think there's, uh, there's an element of truth to that to be fair I think the minor tour the wild animal piece just yeah blitzes to clear him gets a push um it just demands that you have to focus everything around them in terms of setting up the best blitz you can um, or babysit them because they're only armor of eight and there's so much money for armor eight um, I, that's how I've always seen it anyway maybe I, I use try and use them too much I should just leave them sat there somewhere not doing much but it definitely gives you options but it's it's always a high risk play and the rest of the time they're just pretty useless even worth animal savagery, absolutely, yeah, yeah. So I think the uh, the minor tours are, are going to be taken less and less, especially on some of those teams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me either. Other than though, no, it's worse. Um, yeah, but um, um, but yeah, especially like teams like Chaos that now they can take an ogre or a troll. Um, I did try a test game with the ogre um, in the twenty twenty rules for Chaos, and uh, yeah, I think that's definite improvement uh, much much better um, uh, probably troll is probably quite good as well simply just because it's that bit cheaper um, on the team but yeah I, I think yeah minor tour for some of these and uh, it's not going to be taken that often and then the rat ogre isn't it for is underworld which makes thematic sense I guess but uh, but again it's just so unreliable <laughs> So. Right. Well, he's 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 building a a loose ish cage. It's not how you would draw it up. Um, that was a pretty key one. Um, that's gonna keep a couple of players busy. Yep. Yep. Prosaurus there. Level two die now, if he wants it. Don't know if you do really. <laughs> two, three, four, one, two, one, two. One, two. Oh, dodge for the break tackle fails, but he rerolls into a five. Oh, it's a both down, both down. Oh, and there goes a skink, KO'd skink. So the Lizardmen have got one skink left on the pitch. Oh, wild animal. That's a shame. You could have. Well, yeah, you're just going to stand him up, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, Lizman running out of skinks. The trouble is here, 
you can get a hit on the ball carry around here, but you have to leave the middle wide open for the skink to just totter its way through. <laughs> Yeah, or, or Tractor there saying it's either been him blocking or, um, wow, there's a one die. Yeah, I, I think he's he's just, I think, going to sit in the middle. Yeah, he is, which I think makes sense. You could have got the hit on the ball carry. Oh, there's an MNG. Wow, this game is turning. That is, that's a good couple of hits there. Some key key removals here we go <laughs> indeed indeed do we show oh yeah 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 wow now that's that's made things interesting that has made things interesting such a difference isn't it on the Lisman team the skinks once you start I mean Rob has only got four on the team and when you start the second half with two it's always that you go down to one I mean okay he's the ball carrier at the minute and obviously he can go and do lots of shenanigans but look at that all of the sauruses and the crocs are all marked up and the break tackle one is the only one that's up way up here um, obviously you've got movement in terms of you can can you free any of these with a block not really um, you could free with a blitz and obviously you can free one with a blitz to then move but where do you go and where can you get that's safe so you've got a blitz there for a two die probably blitz there two die hope for a knockdown you've got another hit there I think at this point, because they're players down, what are they now? What are we at? Seven. Yeah, seven Lizardmen against nine Chaos. At this point, you can literally just sit on the Sauruses and then just have a Beastman or two running after the Skink. Do you just... Do you just leg it for the end zone? Hope for the best and hope sidestep and dodge keep you alive. Or do you just try and sit back here and make him come to you for a couple of turns? I think you run out of turns if you try and sit back here. Your Soros is going to get stuck. Yeah, taking the blocks you can. Do you just try and cover off with one of the Sauruses? Yeah, I think you're just going to get overloaded though, aren't you? This, all of these, that's this player, Clump here. You just can't get away from this. Is that a blitz? I don't know, just so if he was follows or not. Because he's... Now, where's he going, the ball carrier? Where is he going to go? Okay, right. So I'm guessing this guy's going to blitz then. Oh, just a block. Well, you can blitz here, I suppose. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Difficult dodges up here now. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's good from a bad situation. I like that. So one dies in here. You can easily make this. Ooh. Would I have done that? One, two, three hit with him this guy. I may have blitzed with him. I'm going to 
like you can quite have the players to do it to free them all. But Eusaurus is doing a good job here of taking up four players. Oh, oh, double six on the... Wow, okay, did not see any of that coming. <laughs> That's not the way I would have done it, but... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you go. Six, six, hit, and what was that, a KO? Yeah, KO. To remove the last skink. Wow, wow. Okay, well, that makes it... Uh... It's pretty much Soros just surround the ball time, isn't it, at this point? Wow, I did not see that coming. A 4 plus, 3 plus dodge, and then a 2 die hit. We've taken the 4 plus into the skink snapper zone, yeah. Wow. Wow, yeah, interesting. <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah, going this way. Absolutely. But yeah, it's. I mean, he's got Crocs on the ball at the minute. Um, and obviously, uh, uh, what have we got? The Chaos team have got three turns, basically, to get on the ball. Um, I don't think you do anything. Do you do anything with the Crocs? Do you risk it? Probably not. Oh, that's a nice power. Oh, he did. He used it. Oh, he got the lunar re-roll. He got the lunar re-roll. Re-rolled the bonehead roll. That was that was pretty big. I think if he failed that, that was going to be really problematic. Wow, wow. Who's going to pick it up? That's the trick. This is the minor. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, it is the thought, isn't it? Oh, there's another KO. Wow, the Sauruses are dropping like flies now. Now oh, there's a stun as well. That's a couple of armor breaks. But there's none of this really matters. He needs to be able to move that ball. Does he just try and knock the Saurus onto it? And hope for a friendly bounce. Although again, you're still stuck in here. Here he goes. That's interesting. That's not what I would have done. That's, is that another pushback? It is. I think I would have pushed onto the ball myself. I mean, it's, it's sat next to a Crocs, which you can't have. Yeah, get away from the Grogs, yeah, definitely. Maybe he's just going to try it now. I mean, why not? Oh, okay, he's going for the ball. Oh, he gets a skull, he gets a power onto the ball, surely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, well, that's one way to, to, to draw it up. Tries a foul on the Grogs. Gets sent off. Um, but he does stun the Grogs, which is big. Um, he needed that. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so he does need a GFI. So, break tackle guy is back here. Uh, we may get an elaborate push in there, not really. You could just do a six plus dodge. Go big or go home. 5 plus dodge, well, you probably just blitz and block, block in maybe. You want to see extra time now, yeah. <laughs> After these, well, the poor, um, well, there's three KOs on the skink, so yeah, you could get them back. One die blitz. Still got two rerolls. Yeah, gets the push, yeah, needed that. 
It's just about where he places this player just to get him in the way. So that forces a... Yeah, but that's not... Yeah, you've got a two die. Yeah, as long as you get the dodging. Makes it on a big five. Oh yeah, it's the break tackle guy. And just to come in and... Makes another five. <laughs> Still hasn't used break tackle yet. <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, fails the uh, GFI, but re-rolls it and gets it and gets it again. Yeah. Nice, nice. Gets a push on the Mino. Right. Well, I think you do this one first. In here, try and clear one of these guys off. Or is he just going to... He's just blocking them off. Is that guard? It is guard. Hit here and hope for a knockdown. You get the knockdown. Yep. Makes sense. You blitz through with this guy. Okay. He's just trying to move him. It's fine. <laughs> it's just fine. Thought he was blitzing then. <laughs> I was going to cry. You're not going to blitz with him. You're going to go with this chap. Get some pow. Wow. Okay. He gets the power, which is fine. Um, I think blitzing from this way would have definitely at least cleared his cleared him. Um, okay. Wow! And does the two GFI? <laughs> okay. Yeah, but it worked. It worked. Can't complain with any of that. Yeah, the dodge makes sense. You can just block him off then as well. Yeah, lucky I think. Yeah, but let's give him a cheer. It worked, it worked. Wow, this has uh, been, a, been a game of some interesting rolls, I'll say that. Some big dodges. Fuming. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure he is. I'm sure he, he noticed a few of those things. And well, yeah, got away with it a, a little bit there. I think. Um, but still, I think. Yeah, I, th I think earlier in the in the, in the drive though, that he doesn't want to lose to in great blood bowl. Yeah, yeah. I think there is an element of that. Sure. Um, I think there was a, a couple of turns there where I think he put himself in more harm's way than than needed. Um, and Hypnotoad had a couple of good turns, but, you know, on the flip side of that, uh, Hypnotoad's had a couple of rolls go against him as well, so. Hey, but it still still goes into to extra time, and, uh, okay, I mean, on the face of it at the moment, the Chaos look like they've got huge numbers, but there's still four. He's going to have to hope for some of these... Uh, skinks to come back at least one anyone doesn't matter which one well I have to say this half has not gone the way I expected at all <laughs> it really did swing there a couple of big stands a couple of big casualties um, as Rob said the uh, the skinks generally hurting themselves either by failing to dodge or, or blocking um, and getting themselves knocked down out, knocked out with both downs and such like
don't know. I'm probably right. I, I probably guess. Rob probably thought it, it, it would have all been done by now. Um, probably, but uh, yeah, I may have had to go and uh, look in on the kids. Um. Okay, no, Rob's just there. He's just having a think. I think. Okay. Yep. And he's that extra. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Forcing your opponent to uh, to at least do a few things. I think you dodge that guy, don't you? Yeah, you do. And he makes it as well. <laughs> okay. There's some bids and big dodges. Um, yeah, yeah, makes sense. Stand that one up. I think you made enough rolls now, I think. I think you just stand this guy up. Um, guy doesn't have... Ooh, he's the break tackle, though. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. No, he goes for the uh, two yards uphill, gets a push. That's helpful. This warrior got block. Lock him away, see if you can free the crocs. You can't, uh, excuse me, the, this guy. Well, you can try and move the Minotaur now, I suppose. See if you will. No, he won't. Fair enough. I think you go there to try and then block, to then free this guy, to then blitz, and then go in. But yeah, I think at this point... Oh, really? I don't know if I try the one die, but fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Gets the push. That's all he needed. There we go. Wow. Certainly, certainly goes for it, Hypnotoad. Um, yeah, I, I think uh, certainly does go for it. I think he'd catch me out, I think. I think he has caught me out. It was one of the past things I did not expect him to do. Oh, no. Oh, no. Only one of the, one of the skinks came back. And all of the chaos came back. But the chaos are kicking. Well, I have to say, that does make it a more interesting game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that skink is going to be running for his life. No stall considered. Wow. <laughs> Good name. Good name. Yeah. Wow. Okay. This is going to be This is going to be tough. I think it's going to be tough either way. I mean, them receiving does give them a chance. Um, but wow. Okay. This is going to be a fun extra, extra time. <laughs> Overtime, sorry, overtime. So has this little chap done much this season? No, he is a rookie, so it is time for no stall considered to come up and shine and win this game for the uh, for the suckers. Maybe. Right, so I think the way this works is uh, we have another eight turns and it's sudden death, so the first team to score wins. So... Right, yeah, that's uh, Rob's going to do well. Rob is going to do very well to 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 certainly win this in within overtime. Does he just try and? I guess you sort of see how the blocks go, but I don't think there's anything against probably just trying to stall out for eight turns. Can you do it with six, um, seven players? Isn't it? He's got no six players. Oh God, six players. That's not what you expect with Lizardman. Yeah, first yeah, first to score wins basically. I think. I'm pretty sure it is, isn't it? I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's sudden death. Yeah, I don't think there's um any kind of but there's not. It's not. First touchdown conceded. Oh, 
Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, it is his first touchdown conceded. Yeah, sorry, I am. <laughs> what I'm saying there is I suspect it won't last long. Yeah, but to be fair, you know, the, the way his team had been decimated um, towards the end there, it wasn't too much of a surprise. But it was on his offensive drive as well. So, yeah, so a, a real turn up for the books this season. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's probably going to feel a little bit hard done by. There was uh, quite a few injury rolls went against him there. The armor breaks and uh, and then obviously losing that other skink. Uh, or well, both skinks. Um, and his the opposition not having tackle. Um, but yeah. He does still have the break tackle, chap. Which is really... As the Chaos team, it's just a case of, well, we're just going to sit on all of the all of these guys. And then just hunt the skink. Um Perfect defense, obviously. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's that's yeah. Very difficult <laughs> for the lizardmen to. Uh, I mean, they can hide away, so they're going to get tackled this turn. Um, you have got there's a guard in there, there's a guard in there, and a guard in there, which makes the crocs hit. Have you got guard? Oh, no, you do have guard. Oh, then there's Guard of the Miner as well, isn't there, of course. Uh, now, can you generate a... Block to free up some guys. Yeah, his position is Guard well in here. Those three Guard in the middle there is, is tricky now to generate any kind of decent block. Obviously, you can dodge from here, but then who do you hit? You really don't want to be dodging these chaps. <laughs> the hypnotose only usually half of his goats have been killed by now from dodging. Yeah, yeah, I think unfortunately uh, Rob's, had, uh, Rob's had that one. This game is Ginks dying on a couple of dodges, I think. Well, you know, getting KO'd, I should say. Use the skink to assist a block. Yeah, it's a tricky one, this one, isn't it? You just don't think this position is going to get any better, though, if your skink just hides back here. Yep, so it's going to try and protect off the ball. Fails to pick up. Ah, oh, he fails it. Let's it go. Keeps his reroll. Okay, well the ball is safe. I think whatever you were doing here wasn't going to go well for you unless you're going to get lucky. So let's see if the chaos team managed to capitalise. I think really you're just going to try and surround these guys, aren't you? Yeah, tag him. I mean, he's the break tackle guy, but. Two, three, four, five, six. A couple of lines of defense here, so we can't get through. I mean, at this point, you're it's sort of desperation stage, isn't it? So one day blocks seem like a miracle for the Lizardman team. It's just a push. That's a knockdown. Oh, and it's a KO. Wow. Wow. Okay. It's pretty that's gonna be it's pretty tough. Very tough, let's be honest. Oh, he goes to the reroll. Oh, wow, that's. I probably wouldn't have done that. Um, but anyway, I say that a lot with him in the toad, but still. Gets the break tackle guy down. He just needs to box these guys in, doesn't he, really, at this point? 
Ah, oh, gets a power on the cross. Still does have some movement here. It's a push. I think you box them in. Oh, goes for another GFI. Well, a couple of GFIs, I think, there to try and get a bit close to the ball. He's got a bright Aquasaurus here. He can free himself with a blitz. It's not a great blitz. It's a two dice uphill blitz. But yeah, there's a couple of guard in there. Guard and guard. There's no Saurus guard in here. There's no Saurus guard left on the pitch. Two block uh, Saurus and then the uh, block Crux. What do you think? Pick it up, run down here, lob it. He's got it. Had to use his reroll to get that one, obviously. Now, where does he go? Guess you gotta go north. You can sort of semi protect with the break tackle in there on this player. That's what I meant to say. Oh well, there's uh, that's the end of the skinks. So, yeah. So the chaos team are the fitting end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Rob will be disappointed with that. I think uh, you know, I think pretty much all of us all thought he had that in the bag really um, early on. He decided did do it to himself, didn't he? Yeah. Okay, so the short hands chap has got it. Okay, so we've all got a break tackle guy in here. Yeah, that might have really not doing that much, is he? Gets the blitz. It's another knockdown. It's difficult, so couple of dodges. Yeah, it's uh... oh, Crocs is going for it. <clears throat> he didn't get away from tentacles. Didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> oh, oh well. I'm assuming he was just going to try and blitz through here. You're the brain tackle guy. I mean, he can just come in here and cage everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the one you forget about um, Crocs being affected by denticles. No, it doesn't make it. Oh, lucky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we got to wait one more turn. So I'm just going to cage himself up over here. 
maybe a foul on that one maybe even just to be as sure as you can be I guess block these guys off yeah <laughs> that's right yeah. Minotaur was interested in blocking no surprise is he going to foul? No, no, he's oh he's moving yeah just make it a bit safer could make it too if you mind it's just a push Against power. Down he goes. <sighs> right, so what are we looking at then? One, two, three, boom. Stranger things have happened, right? No, that way. That way's better. Mm, minus three. Does it make a difference? Yep, there we go. Yeah, golden goal. Uh, hypnotoad. So first to score wins. Yeah, I think Hypnotoad checking on the rules. I think previously in one of the other I think it was Hypnotoad, I think. Um didn't realise it went to um to a dice off. Um so I think he made a few different decisions. Yes, yeah, so it's just checking with his opponent there. Um, yeah, I think a hypnotoad. I think I think last season was caught out by that. So so yeah, so it's, it's a good thing to check. Well, he's taken him for the game. But he hasn't scored yet. So I think he's just. <laughs> no, I don't think so, Paul. I don't think he's going to try and foul all his players <laughs> and foul them all into oblivion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there we go. Let's give him a cheer. That was a that was a uh, a well played game and some some moves I didn't quite expect um, and some dice rolls I certainly didn't expect. Um, that was that was quite a tussle, quite a tussle. Yeah, so well done to to both coaches. Um, commiserations to to Robbie played an awesome season. Yeah, I know I enjoyed that as well. That was a that was a. Yeah, it didn't go the way I expected at all, which is which is what Blood Bowl does, which is what's great about it. Um, what you expect will happen uh, certainly doesn't happen most of the time, which is great. Um, yeah, again, well done to, to Rob for a season who went undefeated and didn't concede at all until the playoffs. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't quite enough today to, to overturn the uh, chaos of the blood-soaked furies of uh, Hypnotoad. Um, yeah, so well done to both coaches. Right, so uh, the chaos team now progresses. Um, yeah, night, no, Tom. Take care, mate. Yeah, so uh, so the Blood Soak Furies progressed to the final to play the Cardinals of the Warp, um, Demons of Corn team, which I've been very fortunate this season to uh, to uh, to get through into the final. So uh, we shall see how that one goes. I'll I'll speak to uh, Hypnotoad at some point and organise that at uh, at some point over the next week or so. Um, so hopefully it'll be fun. Uh, I'll stream that one as well, uh, which should be cool. Um, so we'll see how that goes. There's also we've got the plate, uh, last couple of games in the plate, so a semi-final and a final to play in the plate as well. So hopefully I'll be able to stream some of those, which would be cool. Um, so yeah, we'll see how uh, see how that goes. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Thank you to everyone for sticking around. Um, went a bit longer than uh, than we probably expected with the extra bit of overtime, but yeah, it was a cool game. Cool game. Yeah, yeah. See you, Paul. Cheers for coming in, mate, and, uh, and chatting and. Uh, and yeah, I shall speak to all you guys soon. Cheers and bye-bye.